Hey guys, this is Matt from Florida Gun Classifieds in the beautiful Florida Everglades. And we've been getting a lot of questions and emails lately in regards to the Liberty Civil Defense ammunition. So we decided to come out here today and do a test and see exactly how this ammunition performs. Now, the ammunition claims to be able to penetrate any barrier, still remain intact, as well as hit its target and then fragment. So there's some am other ammunition out there, such as the uh, RIP ammunition, that's pre-fragmented. And what that means is when it hits its first barrier, it's going to fragment and it's not going to reach its intended target. With the Liberty, number one, it's super light. Number two, it's super fast. And that speed allows the projectile to travel through the barrier intact. Once it hits its intended target, a flesh area, uh, it will then fragment and causing their slogan which is one and done um, one round should be the last round that you need uh, so we're gonna go ahead and test that out today let me introduce the ammunition and the guns that we're gonna be using uh, just to let you know we did check these guns we made sure they were safe beforehand like always you should always do that we have uh, the 380 ammunition 1500 feet per second 50 grain projectile 9 millimeter it's also a 50 grain but it travels at 2000 feet per second you have the 40 grain, excuse me, the 40 caliber, it's a 60 grain, 2,000 feet per second. And you, then you have the 45, which is a 78 grain, at, traveling at 1,900 feet per second. Now, if anyone knows anything about velocities and ammunition, I mean, that's super, super fast. So we actually have a, a nice setup here. Uh, we're going to show you in a moment. We're going to take some shots. We're going to see what happens. We're going to be using the kel 380 for our 380 test. The Beretta Nano for the 9mm, the 6 hour uh, P229, which is a 40 cal, and we have a beautiful FN, FNX45 here for the 45 test. It also has a, uh, a nice advanced armament uh, silencer on it as well, so we'd like to check that out as well. So, uh, what I'll do is we'll uh, introduce you to our targets in just a moment and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, we're going to introduce the barriers now. The first thing that we're going to be testing here is going to be a car door. We're also going to be testing a half inch sheet rock. We also have three quarter inch sheet rock. We have particle board and we're going to attempt to do multiple shots at this glass here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we might only get one, but we'll try that out as well. Um, also we have a very thin piece of sheet metal and we're going to test that out as well. Behind here, uh, which we'll show you in a moment, we do have a uh, three-quarter inch sheet rock, so once it hits, we're going to see what happens after the impact, and I think that's what we're here to find out today. So let's go ahead and uh, get set up and try it out. <laughs> okay, guys, for an added treat, we actually have some ballistic gel here that we created. Now, what this is here, obviously this is going to mimic a heart. We have some uh, strawberry syrup in there that will help us mimic some blood, ribs, kidneys, and also some lungs that we're going to see exactly what happens. We're going to place this behind our barrier and see what happens to it. Perfect. Alright, for the first test, we're going to go ahead and do uh, one round of Civil Defense 380 with our Keltec. Okay, guys, now we're going to do one round. Liberty Civil Defense 9mm with our Beretta Nano. Okay, for our next test, we're going to do one round of Liberty Civil Defense 40 cal with our Sig Sauer P229. So 
the last test with the door. We're going to do one round of Liberty Civil Defense 45 with our FNX Tactical. All right, we're going to go with the Glass. automotive glass, Caltech 380. See what happens. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so we've decided to change up our tests a little bit due to the velocities of these rounds. Any one of those particle boards. Uh, sheet metal, anything we put over there is going to go right through. So we put all the barriers that we could, one after another, we're going to see what each caliber does all at once. One moment. We're going to start with the 380. <laughs> Clear the gun, man. We're going to go to the 9mm Beretta Nano. Keep in mind there's only one round in each magazine. Forty cal, six hour. Forty-five FNX. Done. Everything, man. Look, everything. This thing, look, no matter what. We gotta take pictures of that. And we still didn't hit the fucking chest. <laughs> the gel, the gel. Oh, I got one. I got one here. Look. Huh? Put it back. How did it turn but backwards? Bring it up. Wait, wait, wait. Is it videoing now? Okay. So we're gonna go talk a little bit about what we see here. Obviously, went through what we discussed. We already know it's gonna go through anything that's anywhere near what that is here. But let's talk about the gel. I see a, a round here. Let's rip this thing apart here. Yeah. Yeah, look at the lungs. This one did not open. Okay, let's talk about what we see here. Any one of these rounds that you're going to fire through any one of these substrates are going to go right through. That's why we did what we did. We have here was the 380. We have a 40 cal exit. That was from before. Now let's look at what we have here now. Huh? I have a piece of that metal came right through. Let me, let me pull this back for you guys. Look at that. That's that exit. Then, the exit wounds here. I have the ballistic gel here, and I see one round that did not open. It looks to be either a 9 or a 380. Maybe we can tell a little bit later, but let's take a look at the front here. Obviously shrapnel all over. Thing is cut up everywhere. Um, and we'll take a look over here. I got another bullet here. Or a piece of one. I'm trying to pull this guy out. You got 
something for me. The rest will be fragmented. So let's take a look here. Look, all around here, this, the ammo actually did exactly what it was designed to do. Here, here, here. This is where we found that one slug. And let's see if we can go further. Exit wound, exit wound. This, I'm assuming, this was the 40. This was the 9. And a couple puncture wounds here as well. With the right caliber, you can do some serious damage. Okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and click subscribe below. Also, go ahead and take a look at our website, FloridaGunClassifieds.com. We also just launched a new site, which is FFLGuns.com. That's Federal Firearms License Guns.com. FFLGuns.com. And make sure you put some comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see us review. We'll go ahead and we'll do that for you. Thanks.